Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today OnePlus have started rolling out Android Q Developer Preview 3 for OnePlus 6, 60, 7, and 7 Pro. But as of now, it is only available for Chinese variant, which is Hydrogen OS. But you can easily install it on your devices by just doing local upgrade. Make sure your device is charged more than 30% and you should have taken a backup of your device because upgrading from Android 9 to Android 10 will entirely wipe your data. So here I have both my devices. This is my OnePlus 60 and this is my OnePlus 7 Pro and both of them I have installed Hydrogen OS based on Android Q. On my OnePlus 7 Pro I was running since morning and now I installed it on my OnePlus 60 also. Instead of making two separate videos, we will combine everything in single video. So here you can see this is my OnePlus 60 on which Hydrogen OS version is 9.0.11, Android version is Android 10 with the security patch of 5th July 2019 and the build date is 12th July. On OnePlus 7 Pro, this is Hydrogen OS 9.5 under Android version, Android version is 10, security patch is 5th July 2019. On OnePlus 7 Pro, you can see we get this Android boot animation, but on OnePlus 60, we still get the Hydrogen OS boot animation. On the previous Android Q developer preview, there were lots of bugs and it was not meant to be used as daily driver. But as I am using on my OnePlus 7 Pro, the latest build which is Android Q developer preview 3, I haven't noticed any major bugs so I'll be using this as my daily driver until we get Oxygen OS developer preview 3. Only thing is, once you install Hydrogen OS, you won't have Google Play Store available. So I'll mention the direct link in the description below. You can download that APK file and install it. Later you can add your Google account. Then you'll have Google Play Store working fine. So this will be the first look after installing Hydrogen OS Android Q Developer Preview 3. Swiping towards the right hand side will open up shelf. No changes done over here. We have the new gestures available. And with this latest build, dark themes works really fine. But only one thing you need to do is once you enable dark theme, then just go to developer settings and enable override force dark. Once you enable this, all the system app will also adapt to dark theme. So as you can see, I've already enabled dark theme on my device. And if we open up any system application like gallery, we have the dark theme available, play store, dark theme, and Instagram also adapts to dark theme. And now if you take a look at the notification panel, so here you will have two columns for the notification and the second one will be the silent notification. So if you have any silent notification which is related to system that won't be displayed on the lock screen. So here you can see silent notifications are not available on the lock screen. But as soon as I open it, you will see the system notification which is under silent notifications. And if you want to put any of the app notification under silent, just long press that and you will get these two options which is alerting and silent. You can also manage the notification directly from the notification panel itself where you will get all the recent notification and you have other options like most frequent and you can turn off the notifications directly from here. Almost all the basic things are working. On OnePlus 7 Pro I have found only one bug that messaging app does not work. So as soon as I open it again crashes and you get this message that messaging app stopped working. But this is not the case on OnePlus 60. Inside quick setting panel, you'll find everything like battery saver mode, Zen mode, screen recorder, hotspot, reading mode. All the new features are included. All the sensors are working fine. I have not noticed any kind of issues with the sensor. With this Android Q Developer Preview 3, launcher version has been updated and now launcher version is 4.0. Camera version on both the devices is different. On OnePlus 7 Pro camera version is 3.8.1 but on OnePlus 60 it is 3.3.19. So let's open up camera application now. And in this camera application front portrait is not working. Rest everything is working fine. Let's go inside the settings. And here on OnePlus 7 Pro we have an additional feature of nightscape which says tripod long exposure. Which means when the phone is ready or on a tripod enable camera to take 8 to 30 seconds long exposure shots. So this feature I'll be trying out today night. Only front portrait is not working on both the devices, rest everything is working fine. And now instead of gaming mode option inside the settings, OnePlus have added a dedicated application called Game Space. Where you can add your games and you have all the features which were available in the gaming mode like fanatic mode, graphic enhancement and options to show the notifications. We also have this app hiding feature inside the app drawer itself. 
where you can hide your apps and enable password or fingerprint protection. This is your recent panel which is similar to the previous one, no changes done over here. Now let's go inside the settings. And here Wi-Fi and internet everything is working fine including Bluetooth under display. We have options like adaptive brightness that also have no issues. Night mode also works fine. Then we have screen calibration options under which we have vivid, natural and advanced. Video enhancer mode is available on both the devices. But on OnePlus 7 Pro we have options like screen refresh rate which is 90 and 60 hertz options, screen resolution auto switch option, quad HD, full HD plus. On OnePlus 60 we have options like app to display in the full screen. Under ambient display, ambient display is working fine on both the devices. I have not faced any kind of issues till now. We now have a new option which is called smart display which says intelligent information based on specific times, location and events. Then we have few other options of wallpaper, font size, display size, status bar, auto rotation and screen saver. And now we also have an additional option of customization. So here you can see we got this new option where you can customize the wallpaper lock screen style. Here you have three clock styles available. You can choose any of them. Then we have fingerprint animation where we have three options on OnePlus 60 and four options on OnePlus 7 Pro. And now we have also got the additional feature of horizon light as we don't have any notification light available on both the devices. So now we have a new option for the notification light. And additionally we have few color options also. Then we have three options for the theme which is palette, simple and deep. Wherein for each theme you can customize essence color, tone, shape of the quick setting panel. You can change the icons directly from here and you also have option to change the font. Then under sounds and vibration we have all the basic options like earphone mode. Dolby is only available for OnePlus 7 Pro. Moving to security and lock screen. So here on both the devices face unlock and fingerprint scanner is working fine. On OnePlus 60 there is a small bug. If you double tap on the screen you won't see the fingerprint icon. So you need to identify yourself the exact location of fingerprint scanner but that works that, that's not an issue over here but on oneplus 7 pro you'll see the fingerprint icon and on both the devices fingerprint scanner is working great then we have few options of privacy location and now you'll also notice that battery section has been moved down on oneplus 60 we have got a new feature which is parental control where you can remotely access to the phone if you have linked with the family members but this is not available on oneplus 7 pro under utilities we have all options like quick launch parallel app app locker oneplus lab under which we have dc dimming feature and one thing which i forgot to mention is under buttons and gestures so as you have seen we have the new gestures available which are available on pixel devices so that can be changed or can be enabled from here so here we have three options one is recent home back where you'll have all the three buttons available at the bottom then we have home and back option and lastly the google navigation gestures on oneplus 7 pro it feels more like miui gestures but that's not the case on oneplus 60 we also have option to quick activate the assistant app so if you have installed assistant app then you'll have an option if you don't have assistant app it will ask you to install one so overall Android Q Developer Preview 3 is pretty smooth and it can be used as daily driver. I'll use it until we have the Oxygen OS Android Q Developer Preview 3. So now let's also take a look at the benchmark results. Here with the Hydrogen OS I am unable to run benchmarks using Antutu Bench application. I don't know this application is not working on Hydrogen OS but I have taken benchmark results using Geekbench application on both the devices. And these are the results on OnePlus 60, single core have scored 2342, wherein multi core have scored 8900. On OnePlus 7 Pro, single core have scored 3559, but multi core scores are really high, which is 11158. So, guys, this was all about the latest Android Q Developer Preview 3 for OnePlus 6, 60, 7, and 7 Pro. If you still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now only this much in this video, hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, have a great day.